episode of Unstoppable Equestrian. I'm Danielle Poole, some dressage class, and say hello to, where is she? My beautiful mare Rondo. It's been a little while since she's been on camera. So, we have just, oh that sun's very bright. Uh, we have just come back from a clinic with Stefan Wolf, so a German rider that's been over here in Australia. He was up in Sydney for I think five days and been down in Melbourne for three days. And it was held at the Red Hill Equestrian Centre in um, down in Mornington Peninsula area. And that place is amazing. Really, really beautiful facilities, lovely people, lovely environment there. So um, really great experience being down there. I'm hoping you can see, because the shine on this camera with the beautiful sun is very bright. So <laughs> that's better. Uh, I wanted to share with you what I learned and my ahas at the clinic with Stefan. And it was, it was exactly what I needed. I have been, I guess, lacking direction in my riding more recently, or this year. Um, and he just, in the first lesson, he pinpointed something that now when I think about it, I know was happening, uh, but I consciously hadn't allowed myself to look at it really or acknowledge it and take it in. And he, he, he said that I've got good feel, I've got good timing, uh, but I'm, I'm not trusting myself. I'm not going with my gut instinct. I'm not asking enough from her, from Rondo and myself. I'm not challenging myself enough. I'm not challenging Rondo enough. And I'm riding too passively. And I know this, I, this has always been uh, one of my challenges, I guess. And I have been working on especially trusting myself in not just in riding, in life in general. And I have been working on this for years and years and I've, I've really come um, a long way as well. I um, would say I definitely trust myself a lot more now and but, but he, Stefan just pointed that I have further to go and I needed a bit of a shake up to remind myself to um, work on it a little bit more and go back to my coach, my life coach and my mentors and, um, and keep developing this inner trust and, and going with my gut feeling and finding some more drive in my riding so I've got passion and purpose when I'm in my train like in the training sessions and challenging myself and Rondo more and the silly thing is that Rondo um, she never says no to anything she's got a really good temperament and um, great trainability uh, and so I have no reason to not push her and not challenge her I just get too passive sometimes and, and um, that's part of my personality that I have to always remember and, and work around or or grow and develop uh, and I think it's really important to know where your strengths and, and weakness, I don't want to say weaknesses because um, they're just areas that we want to work on and sometimes they can be areas that are really useful for us, but know those areas that can hold us back in our riding and, and making sure someone's on our side to point that out to us. And I've been working with Marvin Smith for a few months now and that's been fantastic. So he's really helping Rondo and I improve our quality of work and he's really set us up for this aha we had on the weekend um, helping me shift my mindset towards um, getting to a place where I uh, a bit more driven I suppose in my riding like I, I would say I'm very driven in my business and very driven in lots of areas of my life but I've kind of Lack, lacked a little bit my riding more recently. I've been a bit unsure where, where my riding's going and what Rondo and I are up to. We haven't been out competing much this year because we've been working with Marvin on basics and, and improving the quality, which has been exactly what we needed. Uh, so shifting my mindset and creating, spending some time uh, this week creating some more bigger goals for us and, and purposes purpose in our riding so that I come out here on the arena like the silly thing is I've been putting in so many hours in the saddle and Rondo's been in full-time work and, and we've been working hard and but if we're not if I haven't got my mindset in the right place and I'm not challenging ourselves the right way we're just trotting around in circles on the arena and wearing her legs out and that's not useful for, for either of us so it was a really great weekend to have a bit of a shake up realize that hey I've got to shift my mindset uh, set some play around with goals and set some direction and, and get a bit more determined in my riding and purposeful in my riding and not just sit there waiting for Rondo to give me what I want because if I don't ask 
she won't give it to me. Um, if I ask, I know she'll, she'll try her best, that's just her temperament. Uh, but if I don't ask, she's never going to say yes and hey, I'll just offer you whatever you want even if you're not asking. It's not how it works, unfortunately. Um, so, I, it's Tuesday morning and I got back late last night. So I'm looking for, I haven't ridden yet, I've just got on it. So I'm looking forward to my ride this morning to put it into practice and I've got lots on video so I will share um, some video footage from the clinic either at the end of this video or I'll, um, when I edit it or I will put it in a separate video so you can have a look at see what we're working on and how she's going. Um, but I, yeah, will be watching the videos, I've already watched them over and over so it's so useful. But I just wanted to give you a bit of an update on where I'm at. It's been a while since I've kind of shared what I'm doing with Rondo and I guess that's because I've been a bit lost, I guess. Um, letting other priorities step in and not putting enough focus on where I want to take my riding. So it was good to have that shake up this weekend. Uh, and really I want, hoping this video um, shows that we're all on our own journey. We all, uh, it doesn't matter what level we're at, what discipline, where we want to take our riding, we're, it's our own journey and that's the beauty of it. it we can't compare ourselves to anyone else. We all have different mindsets, different personalities, different horses, uh, different beliefs and strategies and, and everything like that. And so we can't compare. It's all about where we're on our journey at the moment and what do we need to do to get to the next level. And next level doesn't necessarily mean moving up a level in competition riding. It, do, it just means getting to the next level of um, enjoyment and, and breaking through and, and training our mindset to be a, a stronger, more positive version of ourselves and, um, and growing our riding and our riding abilities and our training abilities. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight where I am at the moment um, and I'm excited, I'm feeling really motivated again and determined to focus more and concentrate more on my riding and be in the moment and ask more of Rondo. Uh, not just sit there and be passive all the time, um, ask more of her and, and so I can improve the quality and, and work her in a better way. So I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you enjoy your next ride and I will see you in the next video. Bye.